Alright, welcome to Let's Play Knights of Pen and Paper by Behold Studios, the Plus One Deluxe Edition. Now, I've already taken a look at this game um, just to see what it was about, and basically what we're doing is playing a tabletop game of Dungeons and Dragons. You see that guy right here is going to be our Dungeon Master. Still have no idea what the robot is. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to fill up these seats with players. And we're going to have ourselves a merry little adventure. Now, before I start, notice how I got five coins. Basically, coins are used to buy both in-game and out-of-game items. I don't know how that works. And I guess you could pay real money to get more coins, but we will have no use for that. So, before I begin, let's go to the shop, go to objects. Ah, too expensive. Basically, this will allow us to create five characters instead of the normal limit, which is three. So, this is going to be the first thing that I buy, followed by this, which is going to allow us to fight seven monsters instead of, I believe, five is the current highest. Um. So, let's go to new game, overwrite, and let's add some characters. Now, let's see. We get different stereotypes you now. We get the jock, the nerd, pizza guy. We even get a special guest, which. Uh, I guess he gets plus 20 MP passive. He'd be a good, good wizard. You know, basically, you got the teacher, the best episode ever guy. Grandma can get on it, flowers can get on it. Too cool to way, huh? Hipster. E.T. Recover 1 MP per turn. Hmm. He'd be a good cleric. So right now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and look at... Look at their passives and see what would be a good, good passive to create my little group with. Now for the classes we basically got Paladin which is the healer smiter warrior guy. Let's see they give 5 extra HP and extra 1 threat. Heals himself. Reduces damage taken for a couple turns. Ah stupid fucking cats. Uh, direct attack deals 3 divine bonus to attack and raises his threat to 40. Warrior, wild swing, hard skin, raises your HP by 10 for 3 turns, increases your physical resistance, strike which basically does bonus attack damage, and taunt. Rogue, typical stuff, you know, dazes, disables the target for a turn, strikes twice with less power, Poison, extra damage per hit, and Vanish, which reduces his own threat and makes it so he's less likely to be attacked. Mage, you know, Kaboom, Chili, 6 extra MP, and MP also increases spell damage, and then Meteor, which each Meteor falls from the sky to deal 2 4 to every foe in the battle. See, I'd rather be doing the 4 to 10 personally. Druid has what you would expect of a druid. They have the heal, the bonus damage, add bleeding, they could make someone fall asleep, and then they could recover 5 MP for the group. Now, I don't know if this restores the druid's MP as well, in which case this would technically cost 3. I assume not. Cleric, healer, and that's pretty much all of them. I'm basically going to be going with a standard, what's the little brother, plus 5 to initiative, 1 HP per turn, bonus to attack, discount to buy for the player, discount when resurrecting, 10 extra experience, 10 extra experience would be good for our primary, which 
believe I'm gonna go with the paladin. I'm gonna skip out on the rogue, uh, the warrior this time. Mr. John as a paladin. <sighs> Had no chance to read that. So let's see, special guest. No, where's where's the cheater? Flowers. Extra one point on dice rolls. She is gonna be my druid. Because I like the additional heal, putting them to sleep, and restoring MP for my paladin and my cleric and my mage. Which I'm gonna have all of. Let's see their discount. Hmm. That'd be a good road. Maybe initiative, huh? No. So Miss Goldberry seems to be having it going on. Percentage based. I'm a... make her my cleric. Uh, and I ran out of gold. Oh well. You gotta pay for the extra characters. I didn't even realize that. All right. Well, let's get started then. Yes, let's rock on. Well, character from the future? Yeah, that's right. Extra experience points will be rewarded to those who are role-playing, okay? Before we start, you should know that you can set difficulties again by increasing or decreasing the amount of monsters you fight. So the adventure begins now. As you wake up, you can hear cold whispering of the wind. You can't remember anything that happened before. All you know is that your group of friends locked up in a tower prison for no reason at all and everyone's calling you assassins. While searching for a way out, you notice the prison bars have been broken by some kind of magic. Let's get out of this place. As you leave the cell, you can face you face some guards that are clearly unhappy to see you there. Hey, you're supposed to be inside your cell, not outside it. You don't want to get hurt, do you? Get back to your cell already. Ha, you'll regret that. I'm not returning to that cage for no good reason. Get back. Leave the prison. You don't need to kill all of them at once. You may battle as many monsters as you like at a time until you reach the objective. Kill two guards of one or more battles. Complete the quest. Oh. There's three of them, so let's try three. Three. There we go. Three. As long as we're not weaklings, it should be alright. This is doing pretty good at absorbing some hits. Now I'm still not sure what these numbers are for. I think they might be the total you fought in, in this segment. Meaning the next battle is just start at 4 and go up from there. Dang, getting hurt. Let's try to finish him off. There we go, this should kill him. No! Woohoo, we made it! Barely, but we made it. 181 XP and 5 coins. With the level up. This Goldberry. Cleric. Yes. I'll teach you how to play. Yeah, I'll teach you how to play. Alright. So since they leveled up, they get full health, and we get uh, let's see, flash shield, holy shield, leader strike. Let's go with the passive for now. Still level one, lucky gal. We're gonna give her regeneration since oh well, no. I'll let her put someone to sleep for now. 
So let's see if we can't get old Goldberry the cleric a level. This time we're gonna fight five of them. Nope, there's three again. Four, five, six, and eight. Yeah, see I have no idea what the numbers represent. She already has the life steal. <laughs> that one extra HP per hit is really gonna let her just survive for a lot longer than any of the others would survive for. Fish this off already. I'll give you one. I don't know if blocking reduces their threat at all, but I'm hoping it would also decrease their chance of being hit. Or at least decrease the damage. 225 EXP for everyone and 9 coins. See, 4 HP to all group members, or you can get 15 to 1. I'm gonna go with all for right now since damage seems to be spread out pretty evenly. Yeah, the warrior gets hit hard, but eh, he could deal with it. So let's go on. Sound the alarm. We have a situation on the second floor. Oh, the alarm. I think we sneak past again. Next guards. Rolls the dice. Nice roll. You sneak back to you sneak past the other guards while everyone is too busy looking for you. As you reach the first level of the tower, a strange man covered in a dark cloak is waiting for you on his horse drawn wagon. We shall leave this place for now. Hurry up. I don't know who you are, but we'll have to trust you for now. The strange guy you rode with you the strange guy guy rode with you to Default Village which is the beautiful name for the first village where your adventure is just about to begin quest done pro tip you may choose whichever quest you like to do but the main quest will be marked with stars three gold 120 exp for everyone and ooh, warrior level up but not druid